Does your Prism application use the view model locator? Does your application follow the naming convention that your view model locator expects? Well, does your application actually follow the naming convention, but maybe has a handful of views or a namespace of views that does it and you don't want to have to rewrite all this logic just to change the convention for this particular use case? Hi, I'm Brian Lagunas, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create custom registrations with a view model locator that maps a specific view to a specific view model without ever having to touch a naming convention. So let's go ahead and get started. This video is sponsored by Infragistics, fast and beautiful UI controls and time-saving tools for developers and UX pros. They really do provide the fastest path to amazing experiences. If you're looking for the fastest grids and charts on the market, or just looking for some new modern components to spruce up your application, look no further. Give Infragistics a try. Open up your favorite web browser, navigate to bit.ly slash prism infragistics, and tell them that Prism sent you. The more people that use this link, the more videos that I get to record. So let's give Infragistics a big thank you, visit their site, and check out their products. The application we're going to be working with today is a WPF application. This application has a single view in it called main window. It's a type window and has a simple text block that's going to be centered in our screen and it's bound to a property called title. So we can assume that we have a view model, main window view model, that exposes a property called title and we expect to see main window view model. Now, keep in mind that this particular view model matches the naming convention that Prism is expecting when using the view model locator. So let's go ahead and run the application and just see it working. So here's the application and it's working exactly how we would expect. We have our main window up here and we see the binding to the view model property. Main window view model is the value. Perfect. Let's say you're in a production application now and you have tons of views and tons of view models, which may or may not follow the naming convention. Let's say most of them follow the naming convention, but you have this scenario where maybe you don't want to follow na the naming convention for like this, this one handful of views, right? Maybe you have some dialogues or something or, or just something that you don't want to have to go and change the naming convention and then rewrite logic to have conditional checks. Oh, well, if it's this, then do this naming convention. If it's that, do this naming convention. We don't want to do that. That's a big pain in the butt. There's an easier way. So, for example, in this particular sample, we have the custom view model. Okay, it has a title property, uh, except its value is custom view model. And you can see it does not match the convention for the main window. However, I want to associate the custom view model with the main window. However, I do not want to change a naming convention. How would I do that? Well, I'm glad you asked. So the first step we want to do is we're going to override configure view model locator. Now, if you've watched previous videos, you are already aware of the view model location provider. But what you might not be aware of is there is a nice little method here called register. Now, register allows you to map a view model type to a view type directly with the view model locator. So when that view model was re resolved, it's going to use the type of view model you told it to for that particular view. So for example, if I want the main window to use custom view model, I'm going to register type of main window dot to string. Now this is the view type name and it has to be a fully qualified name. This is because your view may be in a different assembly or a module, right? So you have to use the fully qualified name of the type. Then what's your view model type? Well, in this case, it's going to be type of custom view model. So we've created our mapping. We said, hey, for any view that's of type main window, we're going to use the type custom view model. So let's go ahead and run the application and see what happens. And there we go. There is our custom view model. Well, that's kind of cool, right? Of course it is. We have now completely bypassed any type of naming convention and just said, hey, I want this view to use this view model directly. And the best part about this is that if you use this approach, it doesn't use reflection, which means it's faster. 
Now, the various platforms that Prism supports, WPF, UWP, Xamarin Forms, we have methods built in for registering types for navigation that use this method internally, which makes it faster and removes the need for reflection. We'll cover that more in those videos. But for now, let's look at what else we can do with this, right? Because looking at this code, you're like, man, that's, that's still a lot to type. Uh, I don't like to do that. Uh, you know what? Actually, what happens if instead of a type, I need to like manually create this instance, okay? Well, the good news is, is that there's an overload for a factory. So we can say, you know what? I need to do something special here. So uh, let's return the custom view model, you know, ourselves and we can instantiate it or do something with it. So every time this main view is, is asked for or resolved, it's going to ask for this instance of the view model that we're creating manually. So we could say, you know, custom view model, maybe we set some properties or whatever. Uh, you know, but this is also this can also be improved a, a little bit because this is still a lot to type. Uh, what would be really great is if I could just say, you know, main window, type of main window. So I want to register the type main window with this view model factory that I'm I'm creating here. Now, if you don't want to use a view model, we can make it even simpler and just say, uh, you know what? I want to register the main window with the custom view model and you're done, right? All that syntactical stuff, you don't have to worry about it. Just use the uh, generic version of this method and we will handle everything for you. That's how easy it is to create a custom registration between a view model that does not meet any type of naming convention for, that Prism would expect to any particular view that you want in your application. If you like this video and wanna see more, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you're notified when new videos are published. Thanks for watching.